What's going on, people? Troops TV, back again. Obviously, it's preview time. Southampton away tomorrow. So, let's get straight into the preview right now. Now, you'd look at this game and the first thing you'd probably say is easy three points. Southampton are languishing in 19th in the league. And these men have only won one game, fam. You understand? They've won one game. They've got the least amount of wins in the league this season. Um, obviously, their last game, they lost 1-0. But they have now appointed a new manager, um, the old Leipzig manager. I'm not going to say his name. You get me? Don't want to get it wrong and disrespect the man. So, yeah, they've appointed him. And he said that, um, if you watch Supporters Club, you would have seen my quote when I said, um, I quoted him, should I say. Whereas he says that when they lose, they don't lose, they learn. You understand? Obviously, last week they lost. Hopefully, they didn't learn. You get me? Because this is a big game and we need the points. Need the points. Need the win. Obviously, we got um, back to winning ways last weekend with a 1-0 victory over Sir Huddersfield. Bit of a dead game, but a bit of magic from Aubameyang. Bit of magic from Torreira. How about my blood clot, Yang? Lucas Ross Clark Torreira. Great balling from Gwen Dozy as well. Gwen Bomber Clark Dozy, you understand? Needed that win because obviously <clears throat> drop points in midweek at um, Old Trafford. But this is going to be a difficult game, fam. You understand? Like, this is going to be a difficult game. Last season, we played Southampton down there. Uh, we drew 1 1. Uh, the season before that, we beat them 2-0 and we knocked them out of the FA Cup. But they have beaten us down there. Um, you remember the Chesney game when Chesney was chilling by the post, drinking water, and then he ended up in the changing room banning fags. You get me? But that was a long time ago. Um, it will be a difficult game, but I believe we will get the win. Obviously, um, Southampton, uh, they'll be missing Bertrand. You get me? That'll be a big miss for them. Obviously, that's their main left back. And they'll be missing uh, Jack Stevens as well. Uh, Centre-back's injured. But um, Danny Ying, Shane Long and Cedric Suarez um, are in contention for them. So that's good for them. Obviously, it's their first, it's the first home game for the new manager as well. You get me? So that's another reason why I think it'll be a difficult game. Because obviously, he's going to galvanise the team. The fans are going to be galvanised. The fans are going to be gassed. Looking forward to the game. Obviously, they got rid of Hughes. He was getting smacked up left, right and centre. So, that's what, that, they're the reason why I think it'll be a difficult game. And more reasons why is because of the injuries we have, fam. You understand? we got hella injuries right now. Obviously, um, Holding's injured. Mavroponis is injured. Welbeck's injured. Ramsey's injured. Uh, Mustafi's injured and suspended. Um, Socrates is suspended. But um, Smith Rose is uh, Smith Rose injured as well, fam. You get me. But there is a good, uh, there is a good. We, we have got a bit of luck that uh, Koscielny came back and he got through the uh, seventy minutes that he played against uh, Carabag on Thursday night. Got through it unscathed. So obviously Koscielny for me has to go into the team because of the the players we're missing. It's mad. You get me. And Ozil as well. Ozil's back again. You understand? He's got rid of the back spasm. He should be um, in the squad to face Southampton as well. Let's speaking about Ozil. Let's get into my eleven now, innit? You understand? Obviously, with all the injuries we have um, on Supporters Club, I also said that I believe that we should play a five-three-two formation. You get me? And the players I'd play in that is I'd go with Leno in goal. I'd go with the back five now. I'd go with Bellerin, uh, Bellerin right wing back, Kalazanak left wing back, and I'd go with Litsteiner, Koscielny. And Monreal as the three centre backs. Then I'd go with um, a triangle in the midfield of Xhaka and Torreira, and then a Wobi at the point. I wouldn't start Ozil still, I'm not going to lie. I'd put Ozil on the bench. I'd have Mickey on the bench. I'd start a Wobi still, you get me? I think a Wobi's done well. In recent games, it's just, I think his brain is ahead of his feet, you get me? Because he just needs to calm down. And slow his game down and just relax, fam, and have a breath, you get me? And get your brain and your feet on the same level. Because when it was on the same level, you was creating hella problems, you get me? But for me, a Wobi should start. And then obviously, for me, you need to go two up top, you understand? How about my blood clot, young? 
and like a blood clot that my fucking brothers, yeah? That's the 11 I'm going for. Prediction, um, I think it'll be a tight game. I do believe Southampton will score still, I'm not going to lie. I think they will get a goal. Yeah, we've had two uh, clean sheets back to back. Obviously, two uh, one nil victories in a row. But I believe Southampton will score, fam. You get me? And I'm going to go... I was saying 2-1, but now I'm saying 3-1. You get me? So I'm going 3-1. You lot let me know your predictions. Let me know your 11. Bang it in the comments below. You lot already know. Subscribe to Troops TV. I'll see you at Southampton. I'm out.